What do I do when it seems like my answer is being delayed? What do I do in a situation when my dream does not look like my current state? What, what I'm going through or where I am right now does not look like the dream that God has shown to me. Number one, keep your hope alive. For everyone will be a partaker of his hope. Once your hope is lost, your answer is not in view. Keep your hope alive. You can only partake of the hope that you have. No matter your strength, no matter your skill, no matter the knowledge that God has loaded in you, once your hope is gone, your answer is lost. What you don't hope for, you never see. What you don't hope for, can never come to realization. What you don't hope for, you can never hold in your hand. Two, celebrate the integrity of God's word, knowing that God cannot lie, knowing that His word is true, His word is yea and amen, for your post ultimate by the words of His power. Once you celebrate the word of God, the integrity, the tangibility, the immutability of His counsel, get ready, your answer will soon come. That is no situation of life that can make the word of God to couch. No matter what you are going through, the word of God will always prevail because the word of God has the lasting power. The word of God has the turning power. When you put the word of God side by side with the situation of life, the situation of life will definitely bow. The word of God will always prevail because whatever, oh Lord, thy word is settled. We are talking about the settlement war that makes a man to be settled even when it doesn't look as if an answer is coming. Hold on to the word of God, the integrity of the word of God. And no matter what that situation is, keep hope alive, keep celebrating the word of God, and your answer will soon come to pass. But three, be committed to God. Be committed to the vision, the assignment, the route that you are taking. Be committed because no matter the uniqueness, the genuineness of your vision, what makes it to come to pass is the pursuit, dedicated pursuit. Don't get commitment to pursue your God's given assignment. Hear this, you may not speak at the onset. That is no seed you plan today that will turn to a tree tomorrow. Everything about life takes time and patience. That's why you must patiently endure and pursue. Keep pushing at your dream, at that vision, the assignment God has given to you, and in no time it begins to speak. As you renew your commitment to that God's given assignment and vision, it will soon speak. Don't back out. Don't resign from it. Keep pushing. It will soon turn to product. Every product you see today will follow a process. So don't undermine process. If you don't want your product to lose value, if you don't want your product to be mad, never undermine process. Continue. Process your product and your product will soon emerge. Finally, number four, keep praising God. Those who praise God, they don't doubt God. Those who sing along their way, their journey, they weary and tired our weariness. Hear this? You can never know the tenacity that God has given to you until you start praising. Why the devil is doing his work? You keep praising the Lord. The devil wants to walk. devil wants to discourage you on your way to pursue the vision that God has given you. What do you need to do? We keep singing. As long as you are singing, you cannot be sinking in doubt. Those that sing, they don't sink. Those that sing, they shine. Those that sing, they stand out. As you keep singing, your vision will stand out. I commit you under the word of God which is able to build you up and give you inheritance. That means the word of God has capacity to hand over to you whatever you claim from it. Trust in the word of God. Trust in the Lord, the owner of the world. And the word of God will produce wonders in your life. You are created for wonders. You are created for excellence. You are created to be great. And in the name of Jesus, I speak to you. The greater will emerge. I am eagerly waiting to receive your testimony because you will surely share testimony.